Hey guys, welcome back to Hello RC. This is Jason, and today I've got the Element Ecto out here because a couple weeks ago, a company called Secure reached out to us and asked us if they would try their brushless Outrunner crawler motor. And of course, we said we'd love to, but they are a drone company. They also make some uh, soldering equipment, things like that, but mainly a drone part company but they've ventured into the crawler world, and I believe this is their first offering for a crawler motor. So we're gonna try it out here today at Crawler County. I'm gonna take these things out of the box, take a look at them real quick, throw them in the Ecto, and then go right around the corner here to Crawler County and put it to the test. So let's get started. All right, so let's start with the motor here. This is a 1800 KV, I believe it's two to four S capable. Um, Came with some little, I think this is shrink wrap to put over the uh, motor leads once you get these hooked up, but looks like a nice little high quality piece. But on to the ESC, this ESC, let's see if we can get it out of the bag here. There we go. This ESC is two to six S capable, and it looks like it's got just a XT60 plug on it, which is nice. There's our motor lead, then our wire that's going to go to the receiver, but looks like a nice little receiver here. And then here is the Wi-Fi link, and I believe you can plug this in and do some calibration to the ESC in the motor and tune it to how you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and probably run it stock on this first run, and then in a future video we'll make some changes and see what performance gains we get. So let's go ahead and get this thing installed and take it over to Crawler County. Okay, so I have it installed, didn't have any issues at all. It fits perfectly. Um, and just, you know, my first thoughts are for an outrunner, it's pretty darn quiet. Get a little wheel speed going, it starts to make a little noise but at slow crawling speeds it's almost silent and it has got <laughs> some really low speed good control and i'm gonna pause here and i'm gonna trim out my controller to where the tires are barely moving and we'll see how slow this thing can go and how much torque it's still applying okay so i've got it trimmed out pretty low there you see the the motors really spinning pretty slow and when that translates down to the tires it's barely moving and again i'm going to go ahead and squeeze this tire here try to put some resistance on it and i'm actually trying to you know squeeze it pretty good and keep this tire from rotating and that motor just keeps on spinning so it is generating a lot of torque so i'm going to go ahead and finish up this wiring and we're gonna take it to the course and see how it performs because just my initial thoughts, this might be pretty good. Here we are, we've got the Ecto over here at Crawler County. We're gonna put this motor to the test. But before we get started, I talk about the price of this system here. The motor itself is about $35. The ESC is $40 and then the Wi-Fi module is $7. So just for a hair over $80, is what you're going to spend on putting together this brushless system but i will have the links for all three of these items in the description if you choose to purchase it but let's go ahead and get this thing tested here i'm going to start out on an older obstacle nothing too terribly difficult but just to kind of get warmed up here and see how it feels and yeah, it's just creeping along. Like I said, I haven't made any changes to this. And I am running it on 3S. I'll be curious as to what parameters I can change with the Wi-Fi module. It looks like you unplug it from the receiver and then plug the Wi-Fi module into 
the uh, ESC itself. And I'm not having to adjust the throttle whatsoever. It's just got a consistent low end torque that just keeps the tires turning, which is exactly what you want in a brushless system. And again, I spoke of how quiet this motor is. I think when I pick up some speed, you'll be able to hear it a little bit, but at these low controlled speeds, I can't hear it at all. I'm gonna have to head somewhere where we can try out the drag brake too. See how that's set up out of the box. Got chicken over here checking out what I'm doing. Okay, let's head over to Mount Miles and hit something a little steeper. That way we can test the drag brake. We'll have a little fun on the way over there though. Good test for the wheel speed there. All right, let's head up here to the top of Mount Miles. does have a built-in BEC. I'm not sure what the amperage is. If I'm able to find that information, I'll throw it up here at the top of the video. But my steering servo seems to have plenty of power. That is off the throttle. It's not super steep, but it should be enough here to test out the drag brake. I'll set it right there with that tire on the corner. And I am pushing reverse right now. But as soon as I let off of it, it just stops right where it's at. So that's a really good sign on the performance of the drag brake. And we'll come around over here and try its downhill performance. Try to keep the truck in frame here. Yeah, it's moving exactly how I want it to. I'm just giving it little pieces of throttle, letting it off, and it's stopping instantly. It's not running away. Yeah, there we go. Off the throttle, 
on the throttle, off the throttle. Well, I just realized I forgot to pin the body on. Let's get that taken care of and continue our drive. All right, now that I have the body back on, let's uh, take it out here in the grass and just kind of see what kind of speed it has. We know how slow it'll go, but let's see. Okay, that's top speed. That's not terrible. That is definitely faster than a walking pace, so that's good. Now let's see what kind of wheel speed it has getting up and over obstacles. See if we can't find something to test that out on. I think this will be the perfect spot here coming the other direction. Everybody keeps telling me to do the bumper mod on this, which I still haven't done. Show off the torque of this motor too while we're at it. Okay, got the front tires up there. Now here's where we're gonna need the wheel speed. Yep, plenty. That's about its slowest speed right there. That's some really nice low in there. Go down the side of this mountain and try to stay out of the drink here. I don't know if it's waterproof or not, and uh, hopefully not find out. I just want to do another little drag brake test. Oh, totally awesome. All right, there you go, guys. So this motor is definitely impressive for about a little over $80, brushless outrunner system. Tons of control, great drag brake, tons of torque. It's got enough wheel speed. I'm really enjoying this, especially in the Ecto. So if you guys want to check this motor out and try it out, it will be in the description. I have never seen this motor anywhere and other crawlers before. I think it's a brand new product, but really impressed by it. So another option for a motor upgrade for you guys out there. And if you like this sort of content, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. And thank you to Secure for sending us this motor to try out. Um, totally digging it. And I hope you come out with more products in the future. So thanks for watching you guys. See you later.